What's up, people? Welcome back. First of all, thank you for a very fun 2013 and wishing you and your families all the best for 2014. Well, before we take a look at the top 10 list, I just want to say that, that if you are a complete beginner to the world of Linux, I strongly recommend before you download and install any Linux-based operating system, I strongly recommend that you at least read some of the documentation and maybe take a look at some of my helpful videos on the channel. I will have links below. So when it comes to Linux, at least be a little bit patient. Certainly try, but at least read some of the documentation. Let's go to the top 10 list. Number 10 on my list is Lubuntu. This is a lightweight Linux distribution. I've always liked this for pure speed, so if you want something light and fast, definitely check this out. I believe this one will run with an older computer with as little as 128 megabytes of RAM. I certainly recommend that you have more than that, but if you have an older machine, definitely check it out. Number nine, if you would like it all, and they call this the full Monty for a reason. This is by PC Linux OS. I kind of like they, they have a saying here, so cool ice cubes are jealous. Ha ha ha. Anyway, check out this if you want to try lots and lots of software. This is a fairly large download, almost four gigabytes. They do recommend uh, for a comfortable desktop experience that you have four gigabytes of RAM. So if you wanted to try this, keep in mind of the RAM requirements. Well, at the other end of, of the spectrum, number eight is Linux Lite. This is a favorite among the, uh, among the Linux community. And it says here at the bottom, the goal of Linux Lite is to introduce Windows users to an intuitively simple alternative operating system. You can read the rest of that again. This is lightweight and it, and it is designed for beginners. So if you don't want the full desktop, take a look at Linux Lite. Number seven, getting back to a, to a more full desktop. This one, when I first tested this, was very, very polished. This is, uh, I recommend, you have several options here, the GNOME look or the Genome or the KDE desktop. I recommend the KDE desktop. This is also a large download, 4.7 gigabytes of RAM. So if you want something more fully loaded, I would take a look at OpenSUSE 13.1. Well, next up is Ping Guy, number six. This is also a favorite among beginners. This Ping Guy has been out a while. Uh, the latest one is Ping Guy OS 13.10 Beta 3. Uh, all of his releases that are not LTS support, meaning long term, they are considered beta. And the reason for that is uh, releases that are non LTS only supported for, let's see, nine months which means it may not quite be as polished as an LTS, which will be the next one. But I tested this out, it seemed okay. So if you wanted to try something, you know, a little bit more full featured, I would definitely take a look at Ping iOS 1310. All right, number five on my list from Linux Mint. The first time I tested Linux Mint Cinnamon, I, it, it, was, it was new. Uh, not quite as stable or, or polished. A lot has changed here the last year or two. Uh, this is starting to grow on me. So if you wanted to check out something that's fairly new in general, check out Linux Mint 16, the Cinnamon Edition. All right, the next one, number four. And this one here, also from Linux Mint, uh, KDE Desktop. Uh, if you try this, if, if you're coming from a Windows 7 environment, this should look familiar to you. This is more one of the more, again, full-featured uh, desktops. It's, um, it has something called Plasmoids, called widgets. So if you remember those widgets, you know, before it, I think they first came out of Windows Vista, you may like something with uh, something like this if you like a more full-featured desktop with lots of stuff on your screen. Number three, my personal favorite is Ubuntu. Uh, this is something completely different, does not look like Windows at all, but that's okay for me. I like stuff that is different. I love the search feature in the dash. Again, if you are new and have no clue what I said, again, read the documentation. I like it simply because it is completely different than a Windows desktop. For, for my choice, my personal desktop favorite is this. And if you're looking for something different, 
you may want to take a look at Ubuntu. Number two, Zorn OS. What can I say about Zorn? Uh, this is one of the ones that helped my transition to the world of Linux along with Ubuntu and Linux Mint. If you want something that looks completely familiar, familiar, and once you try this you will know what I mean. This could just as easily easily be number one on my list. I've kinda I've kind of outgrown this, but I still like Zorn OS for a polished uh, system. There's a full version, a light version, and some paid versions if you want it all. But definitely take a look at Zorn OS. I'd have it at number two, but it could easily be number one for beginners. Well, again. Number one, going back again to Linux Mint, if you want uh, something easy but something a little bit different that doesn't quite look like Windows 7 at least, take a look at the Mate edition of Linux Mint. I've always liked that this has something called the Mint menu. Uh, easy, you just click the Start button or the Menu button. Something called the Mint menu pops up. I've always liked it. There's just something about it. Very user-friendly. I think I will have a tie here for number one for beginners Linux uh, operating systems. I will put XFCE. Yeah, I think I'll put Mate and XFCE as a tie for number one. Both are very easy to use. The Linux Mint XFCE probably will resemble more. Oh, probably XFCE resemble more uh, resembles more like Windows XP. Well, that's it. That is my top ten list. For beginners, there may be some other ones out there. This is uh, certainly not a complete list, but a list that I am somewhat familiar with that I've tried out. So you may want to take a look at some, at least at some of those on that list. Uh, again, if you are completely, absolutely new, read the, read the documentation. And if you want something that looks really, really familiar, your first choice should be probably Zorn OS. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Be safe, be cool for 2014, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.